Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm playing with my new server the, the Lenovo X3650 Model 4 uh, The server was actually made by IBM but since then Lenovo bought the X series from IBM so I'm kind of just calling that one Lenovo uh, even though it was made by IBM but uh, blah, blah, blah. never mind I wanted to firmware update this server because it hasn't been firmware updated since 2014 ish I would be able to use the automatic update for firmware on the server BOMC I think it's called I forget what it actually stands for but well BOMC I would be able to to do that but with the new Lenovo server there's actually a new tool available and this tool is meant for if you have a lot of servers a lot of Lenovo servers or IBM servers, the, the very last IBM servers will work on this like this Model 4 and that is called Lenovo X Clarity and today I'm gonna try and install the administrator for that and what it is, it's a, it's a piece of software that you install I'm gonna be installing it as a virtual appliance it comes as an OVF file for VMware so you can just install that it's really easy and we're gonna go do that at the computer and um, when you have installed that you have a management server and that server will go out and see the network and it will recognize oh there is a Lenovo server that I can manage it can also take switches and storage devices I don't have any of those but I have that new server and I wanted to try that and through that I should also be able to update the firmware on my new server so um, I think we should have a look at that so let's go to the computer and see what this is all about here we are at the computer and I have played with installing this let's just see that Lenovo X Clarity Administrator and this is apparently a 32-bit version it uses two vCPUs virtual CPUs 6 gigs of RAM and it has a uh, taken 70 gigabytes of my storage um, right now it's running on SSDs I would probably put it on something slower this is not something that needs to be super fast but well right now it's on SSDs we're gonna be deleting this in just a little bit so um, never mind that here it is this is what it looks like it's um, it, this gives us an overview of what we got and this version that I've installed I got from Lenovo last year but I didn't have a server that it was compatible with so I couldn't really play with it now I have and I could probably have installed it last year because it comes with sample stuff see it has 14 servers that's because it has installed a Flix chassis uh, to play with so if we press on these 14 servers we can see all these um, nodes or blade servers or flex servers as IBM called them back then IBM flex system and they are x 240s but they're all demos I do not have one of those Lenovo I do not have one of those and my address is under the about tab so well this is what it looks like and it actually sees my server we can go here and discover new hardware and there is my server I'm not gonna be importing it because I'm not sure what will happen if I do that so this is an old version if we go in here in administration and update management we can see that this Lenovo X Clarity Administrator is a 1.1 and if you are very noticeable you can see that I'm downloading something down here and that's because Lenovo X Clarity is available in a 1.2.1 right now I found that on some home page I'll see if I can put that in the description as well so you don't have to type it but I'm downloading that and I'm downloading um, which one is on which one am I down I'm downloading this one oops and that's for VMware and if you are using Hyper-V they also have a version for that so down there um, but 
I'm downloading the version 1.2.1 and we're gonna try and install that in, um, in about 500 megabytes. So the one I'm using is an old one and it's available over here under their old uh, versions and that's from 2015 apparently and it seems like that they come out with some packages for this stuff and the newest package that I can see is the built 120 here and that hasn't been updated since 2015 so I surely needs to update to a newer version there has been some versions since then the one I just tested was bloody old so I want us to try the newest version and see how that goes I see that over here I can actually shut this down. Under the administration, there is a shutdown management server. And we might as well just try that. We might never get that chance again. So, shut down. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. And it runs off a Linux kernel. So we might be able to see that do some stuff here. Uh, unable. It shut down before I even got to see that. So let's just delete that. I'm just gonna right click and delete from disk. I have the file, I can install it at any time. So delete from disk and it's gone. And let's see the new file is available in 100 megabytes. Just about a minute. Uh, Lenovo has some great guides for this. If you go over to Lenovo's own YouTube channel um, yeah, they have this very, very simple short name that just you can remember that any day, right? Lenovo Data Center Group Server Storage and Network. Really? Further down, uh, they have a lot of videos. Um, let's see, yeah, we have to go to the next page. There, next page again. That's far down, but they have a whole series on this Xclarity administrator and it's not bad, not bad at all. I have actually seen, especially the overview, I've seen that a couple of times and it has 3,200 views, so it's worth seeing that. And the other videos go into deeper detail. I don't think I've seen all of them yet. I thought it was important to install this before I I need to see it and try it, otherwise I will forget it. Are we there? We are there. So we can go over here to VMware and we will try and build this new appliance box for the Lenovo Xclarity Administrator. You do that up here on the files, you press that and you can deploy an OVF template. So that's um, a pre-built server that Lenovo has made for us. And I just downloaded that, so we can see that it's under download. Here is the old one. You can see that's from 2015. And that's the new one that we just downloaded, just today. Uh, there is one hell of a file size difference of those two. So um, let's hope it, it does the same thing. So I select that and we can pick open choose that next it wants some disk space it wants 3.2 gigabytes of thin provisioning and it wants 64 gigabytes of thick provisioning it's not gonna get that but if you're in a big environment you might want to give it that I have no idea if that's needed but I'm gonna go with thin provisioning that's just how cheap I am uh, I like the name let's keep the name we're gonna put it over here I don't know if this means anything, but let's put it there. And it's gonna go on that host, yes. And it's gonna go in active servers, next. And we're gonna put it on the storage that I just made a lot of space on again, next. Tells me how much space is available. And here I can um, choose thin provisioning. So we're gonna do that. And this is some network settings and this one is picking, oh, I can, I can change that. It's picking my internet connection and I want it to be on the internal network instead. So we'll pick that. That gave me some problems when I tested this before, so I know that one. 
So next. Uh, summary. Awesome. Nice. Finish. And it will be deploying that. It took quite a while with the other image, but well, that was 8 gigabytes compared to this 1.8 gigabytes. So this might be faster. Um, I'm gonna pause anyway. Well, it's still going and I've been sitting here waiting for it, uh, realizing that this screen capturing program is, is delayed enough so that I can see myself blink. It doesn't need to be sophisticated to keep me entertained. Well, it's completed, so um, let's close this. Let's go up and see what... Oh, now it's 64 bits. It's still the same hardware version, two vCPUs, and now it wants 8 gigabytes of RAM. Oh, oh, killing me! Uh, 72 gigabytes it has taken. Of um, It hasn't taken very much yet, so that's okay. Let's open up a console for it so that we can see it when we turn it on. There. Let's just turn it on. Turning on. There. Loads a lot of Linux stuff. Checks out some networking. Blah, 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 blah. VMware. I really hope it is going to be able to use VMware tools. Um, hope they have built that into it. That would be nice. This takes way too long for video. Okay. Complaining that it did not get an IP version 6 from my DHB server. That's correct. You did not get that. Boring. Oh, and then it moved. Okay. Okay, it's done. And it picked two IP numbers, each one for the two network interfaces that it took. And it just picked some random IP version 6 number, probably not working at all, but never mind. So let's just try number 26 on that. Let's minimize some of this. Close that one, minimize that one. Get ourselves a browser there. New window. Oh, we can use this one. To get in there, you write that's, we need 26 there and uh, for slash and UI and login dot HTML. That, that worked before. First we need to read and accept the Lenovo Xclarity Administrator License Agreement. So we press that. And now, everybody ready? We are gonna do this fast read. One, two, three, read. And we're done. Next, here we can create a user account. And we're gonna do that. We need to do that. So we're gonna, I'm gonna create an administrator. There, and that's gonna be admin. And it needs a password. Um, and it's, you can see down here, it checks uh, if your password is good. And when it's good, it disappears and you have to redo that. There, and when it's good, the password thingy down here becomes green. Awesome. Next, it really thinks that we need two accounts. So I'm gonna create one for myself as well. That's me, description. Now we have an administrator and we have me and we have some random, I'm not sure, system manager and system reader. I'm sure that some good accounts that the foreign countries security intelligence agencies are very happy if we keep there. So we'll um, return to setup here. We get a little green OK mark down there. So now we can configure our network. Da -da -da there. Right now it says that two network interfaces detected 
select the interface for operating system blah 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 we need to select number one here for that and it's gonna be complaining that we need to put those on different subnets um i don't have different subnets but um i found last time that it works just the, the same so we're just gonna put this in static mode so that it doesn't change there i'm not gonna mingle with the IP version 6, I'm sure that's great. We can go see advanced settings, there are some advanced routing um, and there is some internet setting. Host name and domain name for virtual appliance. Let's just give it a name. Um, my Playhouse. Nah, that makes no sense. We'll just call it Xclarity. And it's gonna borrow all that crap, that's fine. Direct connect, yes. Let's hope that's okay. Uh, do you want to? Yes. Mm -hmm. Advance, okay. Whatever. Let's go back. Save settings. Save. We have saved that, yes. I hope. Save, save, yeah, okay. Oh, it wants to restart. Okay, it can do that. It, it, I think it needs to do that. I think it's mostly because I used uh, static instead of the DHCP server here, so it wants to uh, ensure that I didn't fuck anything needed up. Yeah, number 26 is answering. Oh, and I did also change the administrator, so that's not good at either. I needed to, I needed to change that anyway. There it's better. I hope it will continue. Yeah, we're still doing this. So now we can change the time zone thing here. Uh, we need to. I am in Central Europe time zone. That's. A bit up here or a bit down there plus one should be central europe do we have copenhagen there we are central europe copenhagen and it has a time server connection to management server was lost how rude how rude server initializing hmm okay hope it's pops up in just a second then. Weirdly enough, it's not doing anything over here. Um, we did get a new version up here. Build 16. Awesome. Let's see if it's ready for us. Oh, last time it did that, I could pick number 27. Let's see if that's... That's not working either. Okay. Now it's ready for me again. Let's hope it didn't forget everything. Nope, we are still configuring. Let's see, time and date. And now I've become s smarter. I know that I need to go down. And that Copenhagen is there. There, Copenhagen. And I am... Um, found the Danish time server or one of them so we're borrowing that putting that in there instead of the United States time zone thingy and saving that there it's happy about that then we can go uh, configure additional security settings so we can see oh there's a lot of good security stuff there I'm sure all the security fanatics We'll have a say about that. Um, you can put up some roles. Oh, I'm a supervisor. And what about the administrator? What is he? Um, there's a hardware administrator and an operating system. A firmware administrator. So that's different roles. So those two roles are kind of... So maybe I need to give my... At least my administrator here some more rules. 
edit selected. Hmm. So let's, um, if we choose that one, let's give him the whole bunch just to make sure that we are not leaving anything out there. So we at least have an administrator that can do everything. Save. Cool. And while we're at it, let's, uh, oh, Apparently, these government um, thinkies are not configurable. Something that the system uses. Okay, but me, I can check me. So I can give myself some rights. Awesome. I want to be able to firmware update and OS and hardware. And until I know what this is, I'll keep those out. Cool. Um, but. You can also attach this to your Active Directory and there is something about encrypting your data when I'm going forth and back. I'm not wise enough yet to play with this. So let's go back to the setup and it has proven that we have been in there. Um, not really doing much, but now we can start. And here we can choose if we want the demo data that uh, we were looking at before, or we can choose, no, I don't want to see a demonstration. And this time I'm going to pick this one because I want to import my own server and play with that instead. So I should get a completely empty setup here. Hmm. I did not get a completely empty setup. Uh, it sees a lot of my crap. That's nice. That must be because of the newer version, because you saw in the other version, it only saw this one. Now it sees the other servers as well. So it must be more compatible with older versions of hardware. This is an IBM X3650 model two, and this is the X3650 model three. And this is the model four, and this is another three, and this is a two, and this is a... F so it's actually um, is able to do something with the older versions as well. I'm not able to pick them though. So, but I can select this one, and we might as well just try and import that. It sees the hardware. That's interesting, right? Manage status. Not ready, not ready, not ready. But this one is ready. So, okay. So I can select that and I can manage select it. I need to press that one, I'm sure. I need to put in the password for the management module on that server. That's, um, I haven't changed that, so that's still user ID. And the password is password. Okay, so we can actually force it to take management even if this um, server is being managed by another instance of Lenovo X Clarity Administrator. Uh, okay, so that might be handy if I'm updating from a previous version and have just deleted everything and need to do it again because the server will think that it's still being managed by something else. Um, I'm not, I don't need to do that right now, so we can just press manage here, I guess. This is exciting. I've been waiting a while to do this. Okay, it completed. Uh, view all servers. What does... Oh, that's just one server, so we get the... I am um, rack. Um, yeah, it's not. I haven't told it where it's sitting yet, and there's the system name for it. Awesome. So let's go back, and we have one server managed. So we can press that. Oh, we get in there, and we can press it, and we can see it. I haven't given it a name yet, so that's um, why we can't see very much. Oh, we, we can see a lot here. For instance, we can see that it says that it has six CPUs per core. It shouldn't have that. That's art. 
it should be quad cores. Why is it seeing six cores per CPU? Inventory, can we see some more here? Processor, two packages. Oh, it sees other CPUs than the BIOS sees. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's gonna be pretty interesting when I uh, take those CPUs out shortly. If that's the, uh, if that's this CPU or if it's the CPU in the BIOS, because I have actually seen that the IMM adapter thinks that it's a six-core CPU, and the BIOS thinks that it's a quad-core CPU. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting to see who the winner of that one is. But this one is definitely better than the one that the BIOS says that it has. So. Um, Weird. We can launch management module interface. We can do that. Pop up blocked. Always allowed. Yes. Try again. Action. Launch management interface. Yeah, I, I still have to log in, but it uh, launches the management interface for me, so we don't need that. We should get most information over here. We can see something about firmware. That's the firmware level of the server. It would have been really nice it, if it had put some dates on that. Server is on, it's normal, summary. That was what we just got. Hardware, servers, we get that one. Hardware, storage, we get nothing. Hardware switches, we will get nothing. Chassis, we will get nothing. Racks, nothing. But we can build a rack. Let's build a rack. I have two rack cabinets, but um, this one is in the first one. So we will call this my playhouse rack one. It's uh, 42 U's high and it's located in at my playhouse. And it's in room data center. That's brilliant. So we have a rack. We can put in a new rack. We can double click the rack. And I want to put in my server. Edit rack. And we can, we have a server in enclosement. Oh, we have that one. That's a good choice. I'll go out and check which, uh, where is, where to put it. Okay, return from the server room and there is 19 U's from the top and down to where this server starts. So if we take the server, um, I can see that you see that it turns green and I'm giving a blue line. So I'm guessing that I just need to do that. What I did before was this and it turns red. So um, 42 minus, I'm guessing it's here. And we have mounted our new server in the rack. I remember it being a lot more difficult than that. So, awesome. And switches, no switches. So, oh, we have some fillers. So I could put, I have some storage devices in the top here and there are three U's each. They're not that brand and they're not EMC either. Well, it's actually the Dell. Ecologic, so this one might not be the best one. Can we get rid of that? Uh, go away. Okay. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have put that there. Now I don't know how to get that out of there again. Can it just be put back in? We can just put it in here. Okay. Oh, then it disappears. Cool. And let's try and put in the, the EMC disk thing here. There, yeah. We can put in three of those. There. Then I have some servers. I uh, don't have any templates for servers. So, but right at that. Now I know which rack this is. Awesome. Let's go um, see some more. We need to go and tell it to download some packages somewhere. Um, I want to see this update manager stuff here. What do we see? We see that we have the latest, latest and greatest probably. Refresh. 
It uh, went out and it asked Lenovo for update packages on different stuff. And I think that's packages that hasn't been downloaded yet. And I can pick which one to download. And I would probably not need to download for older versions like this 1.1 that I just deleted. Uh, that's probably not necessary. Plus it's a really old one. So I don't need that, I hope. Um, but I do believe that I want everything for the 1.2.1, like servers, and this must be patched for the program itself. So I think we will try and select that. Probably we don't need the switches. I don't have any switches. Let's try that one. And what can we do? Import, download, selected. So that one is downloading, awesome. And I think we need the server one as well. Download. So it's getting those packages and they are from late last year, uh, 19th of December. So that's going to be interesting to see what that is. If provisioning, um, let's go see some firmware stuff, repository. Firmware updates, apply, activate, repository. I think we need to download some firmware for this as well. There is different firmware available here. Lenovo has some packages uh, that you can download. Right now our repository is empty. So I need to find my, oh, this must be all the servers that are, that are compatible, uh, including uh, Flex system switches. This is a 10 gigabit uh, scalable switch for a Lenovo Flex system. And we have Flex nodes, more switches, and we have some servers here. We have the M M6 series, and we have some M5 series, and we have the 3850 and 3950 X6. I surely hope we have the M4 down here too. Ah, it doesn't seem like the M4 is there at all. Lenovo! Can we add one? Arr. What does this say? That's just to help. Oh, rephrase catalog. Mm -hmm. Downloading firmware catalog information. Well, we are out here again. This video is becoming too long and I have to figure out if my new server is even supported by Xclarity before I actually proceed. And it's downloading a lot of uh, packages in there and I will know later if it, uh, if it will work. Um, Xclarity is good for if you have a lot of servers. And as you can see, most of my servers are not, um, they're too old. So, but if you have a lot of new servers, you can update a lot of servers at the same time. That means you can you can firmware update them. You can make sure that the BIOS is the same on all of the servers. You can import a kind of a they call them PADMs, kind of a registry settings for the server. You can alter those and you can throw it out to all of the servers at once. Like um, BIOS settings has to be like this, and there is should be different. Like for an ESXi server, um, well these are the recommended settings for the BIOS and you can just throw that out to the servers you can firmware update the servers and yeah you can also install the operating system you can have an image file that you can push out to the servers and say this is the operating system that you have to install on this machine and it will do that so I'm hoping to be able to play with that but well I have to see if my server is compatible first so Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see if this works at all. Have a nice day. Bye bye.
Thank you.